Thank you for staying with us. The Physician Assistant Program at Mercy College is a full-time program embodying the principles of primary care medicine, helping graduates obtain positions in a wide range of medical specialties. BronxNet correspondent Jericho Tran was able to chat with the Physician Assistant Program Director over at Mercy College. Let's check it out. The Physician Assistant Studies Program at Mercy College started in 2001. They currently have about 120 students where graduates found opportunities in outpatient medicine, orthopedic surgery, OBGYN, and other fields. The program is widely known for its community outreach, which complies with their mission statement to provide quality, cost-effective, accessible healthcare, especially to underserved patients in the tri-state area. Here to tell us more, our program director, Professor Lorraine Cashin, and students, Gabriella Corona and Marco Loncar. Welcome, guys. Thank you. So, Professor Lorraine, you started, uh, you actually graduated with the first physician assistant program at Mercy College in 2001, and now you are the program director. Walk me through yes. that journey. Thank you, thank you. It's been a long journey. <laughs> <laughs> walk me through what that's oh, been like for you. The journey. Okay, so um, I graduated with the first class, as she said. <clears throat> I went into emergency medicine in an underserved area. I then came back to the college and was asked to be the program director, and what I did bring with me, which was a point of negotiation, was to bring my international medicine with me. And we also wrote for a grant so that we could get a mobile health vehicle and we received the grant um, and do a lot of community outreach on a mobile health vehicle and um, go out to the various communities here in the Bronx. And Gabrielle, you're in your third year. Walk me through some of the community outreach that you've been through throughout your years with the program. Oh, there's been so many. <laughs> um, a lot of them are throughout the Bronx. Um, we do a lot of health care screenings such as blood pressure checks, um, sugar checks, and if something's not up to par, we educate the patients and then send them to their primary care physician. If they don't have one, then we make sure we provide them a list that they can um, follow up with. Um, I also was able to go to um, Africa, to um, different regions, um, Gambia and Senegal, and we were also able to provide um, health care there. Walk me through what that experience was like for you. That's um, a lot. Life changing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't, I don't think you could put it into words until you actually experience it yourself. Um, we, something that really moved me there was just the fact that I was able to educate children and um, parents on just the simple measures of cleaning a wound because they thought they should never clean a wound. Um, so we were able to educate them and other than providing them health care and even like giving them vitamins, that was just such a big thing for them and it was really moving to me and I would love to stay in the underserved community. And Marco, you're in your first year. What are your some of your expectations coming into the program? Uh, some of my expectations are to not have any free time anymore. Um, <laughs> constantly studying, um, you know, just trying to learn as much information as I can so I could be the best provider that I could be when I graduate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just a, a lot of time management um, and just working together as a team, as a class, to uh, get through the material and kind of divide it up because it's impossible to get through everything on your own. Mm -hmm. So I think the most important thing is to work as a team and. Uh, and get through the material as best as possible. And do you know what field you want to go into? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I've always been an athlete um, and a runner, so my first in, like initial thought was orthopedics. Um, but you know, going on the medical missions and being on the mobile health vehicle, I think might change my mind um, and want to stick to primary care, um, just because that's such a big need now. Um, so we'll see. Um, and. What would you, what do you think that students going into the program, like Marco, should know about the program, you know, throughout their years there? Um, well, one of the reasons I picked this program was because of the mission statement, and when I came into the interview, it was just so welcoming. Um, I remember Professor Cash <laughs> specifically asked her so many questions, but I felt like I connected with her, and I felt like anybody that I spoke to was able to help me, and I felt like it was just, um, such a close community just within the program and so like he said you do have to stick like a team to make sure that you could be able to get through the material and I felt like that was best here um, and time management is the best thing you can do and ask as many questions as you can um, 
nothing's ever, <laughs> nothing, I, I don't know how to explain it. There like, are no stupid questions. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> and Professor Cashin, what should students know about the Physician's Assistant Program? Um, that it is, I think, um, probably as much as we tell them it's difficult, it's even more difficult. And I think that the students will attest to that. I think that it's a great field to go into. I think it's a very flexible and versatile field. I think that it is in great, there, the healthcare industry is booming. And I think as a physician assistant, there are so many job opportunities. Um, and I think that, you know, no, the program itself, I think that we have a great program. I think that Mercy College is a great college and it embraces our program and helps our program to grow stronger and to help, help our program succeed. And what have you done um, while you were program director that you are proud of uh, for the physician assistant program? Brought the international. <laughs> I think really um, bringing, because I go with the students on every international medical mission. I think that's one. I think another thing, I. I revamped the whole curriculum when I came in as the director to make it more current, mm -hmm. you know, so that the currency was was more in line with what's happening out there in medicine. Um, and we try to continue doing it. It's a continuous effort of the whole team. And so it's not necessarily just me. It's the whole team. It's again, like they say, it's a team effort with students. We have team effort with the faculty. Um, so I think, and it's the community, it was getting the mobile health vehicle and getting out there and just reaching out and making partnerships with Head Start and Westchester Square and just making partnerships. And um, Gabriella, you're currently, I heard, working on your thesis. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Sure. So um, during our third year, third year, we work in a group with Dr. Baker and he um, lets us make a proposal on a um, study. Um, so before this, we had a different project, and we studied um, to see if cannabis was a good alternative for um, opioids and, and treating patients with chronic pain. Um, and now our proposal is basically trying to see if there's a uh, difference in efficacy depending on how you um, take the cannabis, whether it be topical, um, inhaled, or ingested. And Marco, when you were deciding whether or not to go to Mercy College, um, and participate with the program, mm -hmm. what did you see that excited you? Uh, well, I wanted to add, as uh, Professor Cashin was saying, I think the international and local outreach was a big factor in uh, my decision to go to Mercy, and I think for the rest of my classmates it was as well. Um, I researched a lot of programs, and I found that not a lot had a lot to do with outreach and international missions. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, we started out as a primary care profession, so I think that uh, that was a big decision why I chose to, to pick Mercy. Professor Lorraine, when deciding where to go internationally, how do you make that decision? I actually um, let the class make that decision. Oh, okay. So how do you guys decide? Uh, I think as a class we just you know vote on different locations and whatever location wins, we, uh, we decide to start planning that trip around that location. All right, is there anything else that you guys want to add? Um, I just think that Mercy is a great program and we're affiliated with a lot of hospitals and not just hospitals but also private practices. Um, some of the hospitals that um, some of our students and myself um, rotate through are like Montefiore, Westchester Medical Center, NYP. Um, there's millions almost <laughs> but there's plenty and a lot of um, different um, private um, pra practices and I think that's great. Um, seeing the variety of patients throughout the community. Yeah, I think uh, just the location of the program. Um, you're in New York City, you're gonna see so many different patient populations that you get exposed to lots of different things. So just for experience, I think it's amazing. I'll add one thing that <laughs> Gabby has already secured a job, her dream job. Yeah. Your dream job? Yeah. Congratulations. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, so I actually live in Connecticut and I'll be working in Connecticut at Danbury Hospital. Um, I'll be a nocturnist um, hospitalist full time. <laughs> Can you let the audience know what that is? Uh, so, okay, so as um, it's internal medicine. Mm -hmm. So I'll be rounding throughout the hospital seeing patients that need to be admitted into the hospital and taking care of them. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah.
All right, guys, thank you so much for being with us today. For thank more you. information about the Mercy College Physician Assistant Studies Program, you can visit www.mercy.edu. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jericho Tran at BronxNet at Mercy Studios. We'll be right back with more Open right after this.